Hi students. We go to lines 24, university question number 4. Very, very important question. This is the question. NEM of a line is 15 mm above HP and the other end the N is 35 mm above HP and the length of the elevation is 50 mm. Length of the elevation is 50 mm. This data is for what? To draw the elevation. You have seen similar, similar case. This data is to draw the elevation. Then you are position, given the position of VT and phi. In a previous question, I think that was question number 23. 23 in lines 24 23 previous question uq3 previous question you are given information to draw the elevation and then ht and theta were given ht and theta were given and you have drawn an assumed plan arbitrary plan and drawn remember that here instead of that after giving the information to draw the elevation vt and phi are given elevation very canvas information 23 H team, T team, Tanda in Pagaram, you would have V team, Payon. A information, elevation banana can you have? Skeba, 23 may, H T or theta values be a tha, either V T or phi ka values be a tha. That's the difference. It's a very important question. You can make minimum 8 questions in this category. Minimum 8 questions in this category with the different orientation, changing quadrants. I will discuss them here. I will do one more problem of the same, belonging to the same category out of eight, and I will discuss it here. Agree? Okay. X Y. Locate M dash. How far away? 15. 35 mm above dry horizontal line. 35 mm above dry horizontal line. Take the elevation length and cut. M dash. 15. Doubts? Located M dash. This is N dash. Then. N dash. 55, 15 mm above x y, you, you have taken m dash, 35 mm above view horizontal line, and on to that cut to get m dash. m dash, n dash is the elevation. So, this you are used. What else is known to us? You are given vt, vt is 10 mm below hp, so try horizontal line. This line contains vt. This line contains vt. Where is VT? VT will always be on the extension of the elevation. VT is the point of the elevation extension. The point VT is the elevation extension. It cannot get out. Oh, it can be done. Elevation extension. Point called VT. So, extend it. This is how much? 10. Now, trapezoidal construction program, trapezoidal construction program, VT and all the point there, elevation of true length in the middle of lines, the middle, elevation of other construction in the true length in the middle of angle and of height. Trapezoidal the construction program, elevation, elevation will construct in the true length of the middle angle under phi, VTL. The angle between elevation and the true length constructed on the elevation at phi is, at VT is phi, or phi is the angle between elevation and the true length obtained there, constructed there, measured at VT. What does it mean? Or what is it meant for? It is to draw a line. Phi is given as 20. So at Vt, draw a line inclined at phi equals to 20 degrees. This line contains true length, isn't it? According to by, by trapezoidal construction, this line contains true length. Trapezoidal construction program, this line is true length. 
This is capital M1 and this is capital N1. Agree? This is two line. Take it. Agree? Some of you? Okay. You have used everything. You have used everything. You have got the elevation. Plan is not available. Where is the plan? Where is the plan? Project in that town. Project in that town. This will contain the plan if you assume the line is in first quarter. This will contain the plan if the line is in first quarter. Where is it? Take this distance and mark. M. Take this distance and mark. N. Mn is the plan. Take this distance and mark from below to, uh, from x y downwards. From this distance, take this distance and mark from x y downwards. You get m n. M n is the plan. You are doing trapezoidal in the reverse direction. Trapezoidal in the reverse direction. Now, you are asked to find out what two line S T theta. You are already obtained two line. S T and theta you can obtain by making a trapezoidal construction here, isn't it? I make this blue itself because plan and derivation are to be with same term. Now, what to do? Draw a perpendicular here, draw a perpendicular here, take this distance. Take this distance. What do you get? M2 M2 Full length, and if you extend them, what do you get? You will get BT and include angles. Sorry, HT, HT and include angles. Theta. You know the procedure. You know the procedure. The problem is this is too much. It should have come here. That's why the trace is not coming properly. Since you are not following dimensions, there is high probability that it deviates. But I try my level best. I got some idea about uh, lines. I have been doing it from three and a half decades. No, okay. The solution is over. You have got two length H T and theta. Very very. Simple question if you do it systematically. I hope you have followed. Now, let me introduce certain new things. Be very careful. Listen very carefully. I have drawn the elevation, no doubt. I have drawn the elevation, produced the true length there. Now, these distances can be used to draw the plan. I have drawn them, taken them on downwards to get the plan. Can you mark them upwards to get the plan? That means Take this distance, mark upwards, take this distance, mark upwards so that you get the plan above x y. Yes, you can do that. The question doesn't say the line is in first quarter. The question doesn't say the line is in first quarter. You can very well do that so that the line, the plan also will come above x y so that the full line is in second quarter. Plan and derivation of something above x y means the object is in second quarter. You can very well do that. The question doesn't say anything. Agreed? Now, can you take distance, this distance downwards and this distance upwards so that the plan crosses x y? Can you do that? Take this distance downwards and this distance upwards so that the plan become crossing x y? No, you cannot do that. Why you cannot do that? If the plan cross x y, the perpendicular projectors will never be to the same side of the elevation. If the plan cross x y, the perpendicular side to be drawn to the same side, the opposite direction. No, it happened to be the same side. It is not our fault. We didn't manipulate. When we drew phi, it came to the same side. If vt comes on the elevation, it will cross. Then the plan will cross x y. 
Understood? So this distance has to be taken down, this distance has to be taken down so that the plant becomes below xy. This distance can be taken up, this distance can be taken up so that the plant comes above xy, that also is possible. But you cannot take one to one side and the other to the other side of xy. Then. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. You will go wrong. If you do that, that is a plan. Plan cut x to b. Here is v. On the vertical line through v, you must have vt. No, vt is on the outside. vt is on the outside, which means that vt of a line is on the extension of the line. vt of a line is on the extension of the elevation, which means that plan cannot cross x y. I repeat, vt of a line falls outside or on the extension of vt. Which means that the plan of the line cannot cross x y. Or a line the vt, that is the elevation, the extension of the line, the plan in x y in a cross here. Or a line the vt, plan in a gathe, or a line in the vt, elevation of the line, that is the plan x y in a cross here. If vt of a line lies on an elevation, its plan has to cross x y. Understand? Okay. It's a very, very important question. So many questions have been framed on this concept, on this method. So when you read the question, check if the elevation data is given, Vt and phi must be given. If the plan data is given, theta and ht must be given. We will do a question of question in that category also. Out of the eight probable questions with the same question, same orient arguments, I will do another question. Uh, most probably like 25. University question number 5 with the plan and ht and theta given. Okay? Thank you.